This is my flight from China to Tokyo. Everyone loves going to Japan. I was looking forward to it. I think I had nine or ten full days in Japan, but I was kind of in a bad mood when I got to Tokyo, just seeing the price of things. I missed a bus and had to take a taxi. The taxi cost 200 US dollars. So I didn't get the best footage when I was within Tokyo. And when I met up with Mickey later on, I, I don't know why, I just didn't get a lot of footage. So sorry about that. Hopefully you can kind of still see what I, what I did whenever I was there. Japan is totally different than any other Asian country. It's clean. It's organized. The toilets are super clean. Nothing smells bad. But that's kind of a, a catch for me. They use a bidet for most places, my hotel friend's house. And I can't read the buttons. I've never used a bidet before. So when I try to turn it on, um, nothing happens. So I just keep pushing up. And when it did turn on, it cleaned me out good. It cleaned me out so good that I thought water was going to spray out of my mouth. And that's something you definitely need to prepare for. At this point of the trip, you can see I'm with Mickey and her family, and this is time for the Doga Festival, Autumn Festival. And all these kids are carrying around shrines, they go house to house in groups, and they give them candy and pop and stuff. It's kind of like Halloween, it reminded me of Halloween. Everyone is super nice, I just walked outside and went with some of the kids, and people gave me candy too. Um, yeah, that was a pretty cool experience. The downside is, at like 5 o'clock in the morning, you could hear this sound right here. So this music is loud, of course it wakes everybody up. And the reason they're playing this music is because they're getting pumped up for this contest. And as you can see these guys right here, they're getting pumped up. He stands on their shrine and jumps onto the people. The adults have shrines too. And I think there's eight different areas. They all get together at this spot and they take their shrines that's got, I don't know, a group of people that are kind of like a team holding it together and they smash the shrines into each other. I think they can smash them into each other twice and they usually break and there's some people standing on top of it. Uh, Mickey told me someone always gets hurt and that's pretty cool to me because if you're smashing stuff and people are getting hurt you've got to be doing it right. You can see this a little better as this guy was leaving and the other people are coming in. This uh, red part right there is the it's a red shrine and you see the people on the bottom it's being held up by two really long wooden beam type things and so these lines of people are actually holding it up so you can see kind of how they're running along and that's what's holding up that big shrine right there now, I was always I didn't understand the words so I'm kinda confused when they're about to clash into each other and when they're not um, you can see these guys must have been losers because their shrine cracked that was the long wooden piece that kind of held it up that was pretty funny. <laughs> a 
I did get to see them smash into each other a few times. And you can kind of hear the wood cracking if, if one of them is breaking. Um, I can read this as north, so I'm guessing this is a team from the northern area that, that won. This was the last day of my trip. Uh, I think that, that night, Mickey took me back to the airport. Thank you, Mickey, for everything. It was really nice to meet your family, play all those card games and stuff. But everyone, please click like and subscribe, watch some of my videos. I've got some other things coming up pretty soon from different countries. And I believe I've got a lot more footage than I did from this one, so hopefully it'll be a little better video. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful day. One, two, one, two.